Hello, my name is Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mimi Plans and Knits. Today I'm going to do a little plan with me the month of February in my Hobonichi weeks. This is the planner that I use for budgeting. I don't share any numbers when I do my budgets, but I do like to set it up. And the kit I'm going to use is by Green Darnier Designs. It's for the Hobonichi weeks. I'm going to try to use it for the month. So I took the date covers and I already did a little bit of sticker surgery on them. Um, I can't, I don't, I don't really share any numbers on here, but um, I do write down what will be coming out. I just don't put the amounts down there. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm wondering... I'm going to try to cover a little bit of, these might be too big, I don't want to, yeah I think those are a little bit big, I just, um, because the dates, I cut out um, where the numbers were, there were little boxes for the numbers, so what I'm going to try to do is just, um, fill up a little bit so you don't see too much of the red behind. So let's see if we're able to do a little bit of sticker surgery here. And will that fit across? It might. Might have to get another one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another one. I should have enough though and if I need to put a little bit of a piece I don't mind because it's going to be covered it's going to be covered anyway so how is everyone everyone here is great now I have to say if you hear my puppies bark um, my husband's not back yet so if he shows up before I'm done my Three dog doorbell is going to be very loud. And it's just a little bit, a little bit short, but I think that's okay. Um, there we go. So, um, yeah, I. Well, these are going to fit over on this side. Ah, because it's a little bit shorter. I forgot about that. That's going to be perfect. Um, yeah, uh, let me, let me apologize again for my, the state of my nails. They are healing slowly. Um, if you hadn't seen when I told the story, um, when I broke my shoulder, I, I've had nail, I've had long nails for years and usually I just do like a gel nail sometimes. Um, I always have them, I always have them done and it's been well over 20 years that I've had my nails done. But when I broke my shoulder, um, because I couldn't move my hand to put it under the light, um, they did some acrylic nails on me and I've never had acrylic nails in my life and obviously it is something that I cannot have. I had a severe reaction. I had to have them removed. It was as if my nails, uh, if you're squeamish you might not want to listen, it's as if my nails um, were like they were like, um, they looked like I had eczema around them and the, um, they were like burnt, I guess is what I would call it. It was terrible. Um, it was burny, it was itchy, my skin peeled. Um, it really wasn't, oh, did I lose my Monday? It really wasn't fun. It was a disaster and I thought they had healed a little bit so I went to have them done just shellacked and um, even that burnt my 
burnt my skin. Now the they probably weren't healed enough. So I have been, um, where is the Monday? I've been letting them grow out. Um, I am able to put a bit of a Dior clear polish on them. Well, I don't know where I dropped the Monday. It will probably be found when I'm done. It's probably right here that I'm looking at it. And so anyway, I do apologize for the shape of my poor nails. I'm so embarrassed by them when you're used to having nails and then all of a sudden this is what you've got going on but they are healing slowly but surely and um, I will not I will not ever do acrylics again it's definitely not for me my nails did not like that. And when you're used to having nails, and then you have these little stumpy, you don't know, can't do anything. Oops, you don't know what to, I even have a hard time typing at work because I've had nails for so long. You're used to, um, when you're used to typing with your fingernails and not your fingertips, it's really different so anyway that is the story behind my nails and I do apologize for what they look like now these are not going to stick down and that's okay we don't need to use them I have others I have others that I can use. I think if they don't want to stick to the stickers, maybe. But that's all right. We will take them off. We're not going to fret. We're not going to sweat the small stuff. Uh, let me see. I do have some weekdays that I can put on there. Uh, somewhere right here in this pile, I would imagine. I keep things right out. I ordered um, some smaller some smaller uh, dates to use. Those are the months. I could probably use these. These are quite small. Maybe I could even fit them right on top so that they don't have to they don't have to fit on I put them up here maybe and then they don't even need to stick to the stickers these are from Mandy Lynn plans um, will they go here no you don't really see them um, I just placed another order with Mandy Lynn plans too to have some smaller sizes I'm using my sterling ink Actually, I'm loving it as my purse carry. I'm such a lister. That cures my listing issues. So that's working out really good for me. Yes, my fingernails are feeling a lot better. They maybe are not looking better but the cream that I'm putting on them and the warm oil soaks have helped a lot. So if anybody out there has any suggestions for me, please let me know. I'm just gonna leave, I think, the numbers that um, are on here for the month. I will put this little weekend because this is the weekend on this side. Now, let me think. Um, I have, I wonder if I have enough of these. Let's use these. 
Uh, on my monthly, I just put the things I know that are going to come out of the bank and um, then through the week I write them down. So I do have that on the first. I have our bank charges will come out on the fifth. We have, I'm going to use a bigger one. I wonder if that's too big for the month. Um, for the, oh, I think that's going to be good there. I have two insurance payments that come out this day. And we have two insurance payments that will be coming out this day. And... Um, no, there's only one that day. I'm gonna move this one over. I'll save this one. There's only one that comes out that day. On the 10th. And we have another insurance payment that comes out on the 16th. Oh, I found my Monday. I knew it wasn't far. Um, I will have an interest payment for our line of credit will come out on the 17th and I have to make a transfer here. Um, we use a couple different banks so I will have to transfer money over to the other one. And my husband will get paid on the first. Now, my car payment this month will be, it comes, it's every two weeks. So, um, one, Two. My car payment will come out on the 7th and my car payment will come out again on the 21st. I'm going to put it on the 22nd just because but it will come out on the 21st but I will know that. Um, I also have an appointment on the 2nd and I have an appointment on the 7th and these appointments I'm going to put them here because they will cost me money. Now those are the only appointments that will be right there. Um, I know I will work on Mondays, but other than that, I'm not really sure what I'll be working. Um, I will put this here, just if I need to jot down anything. I have um, bills that will automatically come off of our credit card and I did call and make some changes to them this month so I'm not sure if they're going to come out on their regular day or if they're going to come out on the new day. Um, maybe I'm going to move these over. These over these dates because they're not part of the month. And down here, I'm just going to cover these over with one of these. Now, when my husband and I, if we do travel, it's usually in February. 
but this year we did October instead so there won't be anything there so I think that's what I'm gonna put that's what I'm gonna put on here mm, I don't think I have one appointment I can put there but that's okay so let me grab a pen here I'm gonna use my Klena this one is in the brown but it's a black and it is a I think it's a 0.38 it doesn't say anywhere on here but those seem to be the ones that I like the best so um, these are the bills that I will have coming out these will be the credit card and um, at the end of the month all the bills that come off of the credit card we use those so that we can get points um, I just add them up and I make a credit card payment so maybe if I take one of these let's take this one here and I will put it down here on the 29th we have a leap year this year so this will be the credit card payment so whatever whatever's going to come I'll list it here and then I will pay it there um, what can I write on here let's see this will be this is our monthly fee that's our monthly bank fee and this is um, this will be our insurance we have two that come out today on the 8th and on the 10th and the 16th these are insurance and this is interest on our line of credit and this is transfers that I have to make And this will be income tax. Okay, so this is my month set up. I'll fill my numbers in off camera. So this is this is what this is looking like. Um, let me just see here. I'm just gonna put my finger over this. So um, this is all I did for this week. Um, I just put a couple of little stickers and um, I use this whatever's coming out I put it here whatever cash I spend here and then I kind of use this side as a check register and I just go each week uh, some weeks I do a little more sticker heavy and some weeks I don't but we're already um, we're already going to be February, so I thought maybe I'd better get February going here. So, um, yeah, so that's my quick little setup in my budget planner. This is actually working out really good. Um, I'm enjoying using it, and um, it's so far so good. We're, we're barely into 2024, but it seems like already the first month is almost over, so... This is kind of how I do it, uh, just if you're looking for suggestions on how to, how you want to get yours done. So if you uh, want to see more of these, I will certainly do some. And uh, until then, thank you so much for spending some time with me. And I will see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye.